Hey Virgo. All right, you guys, it's gonna be for anyone who has Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in their birth chart. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading and it will not resonate with every single Virgo out there. First reading will be for the ones that are taken or loosely involved. Second one will be for the ones that are single. So it's overall energy and love right now for my taken or loosely involved Virgos in regards to love. Ooh, the Phoenix. All right, new phase, rekindle, renew. Transformation, growth, and changed mind. All right, some type of rekindling. All right, bringing the spark back into the connection. All right, all right, bottom of the yeah. <laughs> with seduction. Okay, I like this. Okay, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, or third party interference. All right, so somebody's trying to bring um, a new phase into the, into the connection. This for some of you, for if you just got into a relationship, this may be your first physical time together, if you know what I'm saying. All right, some of you are trying to bring the, bring the spark back into the connection after a long time of being together. All right, is what it's looking like so far, but we're gonna get into the tarot. That may just be a small message for somebody. Keep in mind, those don't really have to resonate with the story you get, okay? So what happened in the past for a Virgo and the person on their mind? For, my, for the ones that are taken or loosely involved, what happened in the past for a Virgo in love for the ones on their mind? For Virgo and this person. That's what they're watching this video for. Okay, got two cards that want to come out at the same time. We're gonna take them both. All right. What happened in the, what's that one on the current energy? What's going on in the current energy, please? In <laughs> near future outcome. Okay. Okay, that wanted to come out earlier. All right, so we're gonna keep it. Knight of Swords, some type of invitation, okay, or a conversation needing to be had. I feel like it's already coming in, all right? It's speedy communication, something happening fast, okay? Doesn't really have to be a conversation, but maybe something may be um, coming in kind of quickly, all right? Somebody may be asking for sex really quickly or quicker than somebody would like, all right? This could be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In the past, you had the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Leo or another Virgo. Or somebody in a Leo Virgo cusp is also what I'm seeing. All right, so let's can you clarify this uh, Seven of Wands and Eight of Pentacles. Okay, why am I seeing somebody trying to pry somebody away from their desk at work? Like somebody spends, like someone throws stuff in their work and not really... Normally when spirits try to throw more than one card out when I ask for one, it's to show me a scene, right? Why am I seeing somebody trying to <laughs> pull somebody away? Like, I'm seeing somebody like being poked in the back, like, hey, pay attention to me. Like, hey, like, and for me, it looks, it looks sexual to me. Like, somebody's like, like, hey, like, I'm trying to seduce you. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? You know what? That, you know what just came up in my head? Um, what is that song called? Partition by Beyonce. It's kind of what it's looking like. Somebody's very, like, focused on work is what it's looking like. Okay, um, that's all I'm really getting here. Someone's very focused on work, and it's like, you know, take all of me, like, I'm, I'm right here, like, what are, you, what are you doing? That's the kind of vibe I'm getting, actually. So maybe feeling like the connection may be getting boring, so maybe the sexual spice, spice it up. It's very sexual, it looks like. Clarify the seven of wands. And Knights of Pentacles. All right, very slow moving offer. <laughs> very slow moving um, energy, period. Possibly both of you. All right, seven of swords, avoiding. Someone may be feeling avoided. Someone very focused on work, someone may be feeling avoided. That's what it's looking like. Give me more, um, give me, can I get a little more storyline here? Am I on it or like, let me know something, because <laughs> five of swords, yeah, somebody is feeling like this is a headache for them. Five of Swords, all right. This someone feels like they're um feeling defeated. Okay, Five of Swords. This, this, this is this is what I'm getting here. All right, yeah. Three of Swords. There's another. There's a there's a third party here. This could be another person, but I really feel like it's work. I don't think it's you know. I think somebody's mind is not on the connection right now. I think somebody's focused on work. And you know, it's not a bad thing. I mean, that's just what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Current energy, Two of Swords. Stuff that's in a rock and a hard place. Why is that? And why? You know what's going on? What's about to a source here? This maybe you, this maybe them. But somebody here is wanting um some type of like transformation here in the, in this connection. 
Oh, and it may be more than one person for some of you. For a very small portion of you, it may be somebody else, okay? Somebody might be trying to put in work um, in another connection, okay? Somebody here is... Someone that may have a lot of other options. Again, this might be work. I really don't get that this is an emotional thing. Some of you it is. Some of you are being... Some of you are conflicted on whether you want to stay in this connection or find other options. Like, oh god, I'm getting, I'm getting multiple storylines. It's kind of throwing me off. This could be a Cancer, Scorpio. I have another Virgo here. I have Aquarius. I have Libra. I have Taurus here too. Okay, let's back up a bit. It's gonna be a longer reading than I pictured. I, I knew it. Okay. So the main storylines I'm getting here is A. You could I it's two. I feel like I'm getting two scenarios with the same concept. So. Somebody here may be very focused on work because there may be a work bay. Is also what I'm picking up on too. Like again, somebody is at work and may be seduced by somebody that they work with. And the attention is not so much on the person that you're dealing with anymore. Or you, I mean. Okay, somebody may be feeling like they have to compete for somebody's attention. And they're feeling defeated. They're feeling like this is a headache for them. Because something is moving very slowly. Or... I'm getting a lot of different storylines. It's throwing me off, actually. Um, I'm also seeing, or for a very small portion of you, like 2% of you may resonate with this, but somebody may be offering um, sex to you, and you're using work as an excuse for why you can't be intimate with somebody for some reason. Like, someone using, someone's like making excuses and someone's feeling defeated because they feel like somebody wants to move slower in that connection, right? In, in, in that part of the connection. Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Swords. Someone moving extremely slowly, someone moving extremely fast. Okay. Um, and I feel like whoever's moving fast is coming with logic and reasoning on why you should, you should take this to the next step. Okay. Because new phase with the Phoenix card. Somebody is will, somebody is trying to, you know, create that passion here. And someone is like, no, nah, I'm too busy or not this and all that. Like, I'm hearing a lot of, like, excuses. And it's annoying somebody is also what I'm seeing. For others of you, there may be somebody else in the picture. Again, very small portion of you, because not really, this is really not what I'm getting here, to be honest. Uh, for a very small portion of you, someone may be trying to find other options, possibly to make somebody jealous. There's, de there's definitely jealousy here somewhere. There's jealousy here somewhere, period. Because the energy here is just not on you. Period. Whether this, I don't give a fuck what this person got going on. The energy is not on you, and you're trying to fight for it. You're trying to fight for the connection, but I think y'all are fighting in different ways. I think there, I think there are, um, uh, I don't know what this is. Someone here is very conflicted though, and I feel I am too him. Um, <laughs> clarify the sense of pentacles in the near future. But the bottom line is what I'm getting here is there is still a relationship here, right? But the seven of cups is throwing me off a bit because it's like, is somebody trying to find other options? Because they fear somebody else's attention is some on somebody on some other third party, or on work, or on any kind of third party. It could be work, or per, another person, family. Third party could be anybody. It's just not on you. All right. Clarify the six of pentacles, please. Someone is using. I feel like someone may be using sex to try to get somebody's attention too, and it doesn't work. Six of pentacles, ace of swords, and six of swords. I see you moving on from this. Like this, this, uh, I see you getting the clarity you need in the near future. I'm seeing you getting, um, back what you, what you've been deserving. Okay. For, for a lot of you, I'm seeing you getting some type of victory here. I don't think it's going to last very long. I think this person's going to make up their mind in regards to what they want and what they want to move forward with. All right. Six of swords, two page of swords and the 10 of cups. I'm seeing communication that leads to this 10 of cups and I'm seeing you moving into calmer waters with this person. Okay. Aquarius is here. Um, Gemini is here, Libra is here, Taurus again, Pisces here. Alright. Who does a long read? Alright. <laughs> Any additional messages? Any additional messages for Virgo, please? Any additional messages for Virgo in regards to the situation, please? Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay. So the chemistry is still there. There's nothing, to, there's nothing to fear there. All right. Bottom of the deck is it is safe for you to love. Again, some of y'all are not ready to have sex with somebody is what I'm seeing. 
Somebody is not, somebody is wanting to, to take this relationship to the next level and somebody here is like, let's move slower, let's move a little slower, like, let's, let's try to build up to that still. Okay, so I'm still conflicting and trying to make an option and I'm kind of seeing that maybe happening for y'all and then someone's getting what they deserve, someone's getting what they want. Okay, some type of victory is, is, is an outcome, alright? It, it's safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, alright? There's no need to fear this person, okay? I feel like you exactly, you you eventually get what they get what you want. Whew, child. All right. Let's look into singles. All right. All right. For my single Virgos, what's going on? What's going on in the current energy for a single Virgos, please? Single Virgos, please. Okay. Butterfly wanted to come out along with healthy choices. So, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, and growth. And then on top of that, you have healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. Now, with the Butterfly card saying relationship evolving to the next phase, I really feel like that has to do with um, your relationship for your, to yourself, all right? Singles, I feel like that's like your connection to yourself is evolving, like you're evolving. Like you're this butterfly now because you made healthy choices um, currently or in the past. Bottom of the deck is coffee cups. So some of you may be dating, may you have some type of friendship with somebody right now that you're currently focused on, all right? Just somebody that's around, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So let's get into this. All right, what's on my, my single Virgos? What's their, what's their current energy? What's their, what are they focused on right now in regards to love? My single Virgos currently, ooh, yeah. Some of y'all are definitely uh, into somebody right now. All right, some of y'all are stressed out about this person for some reason. Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, all right. Okay, okay. six, <laughs> there are the lovers here, right? Major Arcana, number six, all right, and the nine of swords. So some of y'all may be very intimate with this person with the six and nine, if you know what I mean. All right, this may be a Gemini for a lot of you, all right. What's this person's actions towards uh, Virgo? What's this person's actions towards Virgo? Okay, they're leaving you heartbroken. I'm going to look definitely to see why that is. This could be a Pisces or a Libra. Their future actions towards you are the Eight of Cups and Three of Swords. Okay. And the Four of Swords at the bottom and the Ten of Wands. I don't know why. It could be a Libra or a Sag. Clarify, why are the Eight of Cups and Three of Swords happening in the future? They may break your heart or they may walk away from you. What? Why are the Eight of Cups and Three of Swords here? What's, what's going to cause that? Like, why, why is this person leaving? I'm not understanding. Oh, they have somebody else? Two of Pentacles. They're juggling you and somebody else. For my singles that are currently dealing with somebody, I mean. If you're currently like speaking to somebody right now, someone's trying to balance out their life. Balance out their situation. They, their baby mother may still be in the picture or this may be you. This may be your situation. Or a baby father, whatever the case may be. Alright. For my singles that don't have an option... Um, what's coming up for them in love right now? What's coming up in love in the near future? It's about three of them. Oh, I see somebody. You has you may have a secret admirer. They may um reach out to you pretty soon. Okay, let's look into this. Capricorn energy here for the ones that are currently talking to somebody. All right, they may walk away due to somebody else being in the picture. Okay, they're juggling. All right, two of Pentacles having too much going on. All right, but for the ones that have no options whatsoever, I feel like somebody's about to, um, yeah, somebody, in, um, not, not soon. No, I don't, I don't see this happening in February. Some of you is in May, but this person is here in, like, here for you. And this person is very shy, I feel, and reliable, very loyal. Okay, this person, I feel like is, it may be a karmic thing or like a destiny thing, Okay. With the, with the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel this is like spirit, like turning the wheel in your love life. Like, hey, I think it's time to bring this person in because you've done the work. Healthy choices and the butterfly. Like, you've evolved. You've changed. You've grown. 
Now I think it's time to bring this person in, all right, to change your life. The wheel talks about change. What's the outcome for this connection for um, Virgos that's coming up for them? Oof, nine of Swords. You may be stuck in your head, or they are. I'm seeing this ending up in a uh, in fear. I'm seeing with fulfillment though at the bottom. So what's the problem? Gemini's here, Aquarius, uh, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces is also here. Alrighty. Why is the nine of Swords here? Why is the nine of Swords here? If this video cuts off short, just I, I'm a, I apologize. Okay, I'll probably finish the read in the comments because I see my camera getting to the point where it likes to turn off. Someone very, someone may be focused on work or have a family already. It may be why someone ends up stressed out. Okay, could be another Virgo, Aquarius. Yeah, someone's a cheater. So, um, Virgo singles, just don't fuck with nobody right now. Neither one of you, just don't fuck with nobody right now. Okay, because this is this is what I'm seeing. I say so I'm putting in the work for another connection over here for the ones with no options. This option coming in is shit and this one too. Any additional messages? Alright, real quick. Release your ex and 